Hi, it's the Brook Without Gratitude guy with another special guest. This is my good friend, Leif Johnson. And of course, you've gotten used to hearing what that question is. Leif, what are you grateful for? Well, gosh, I've been a, a kind of a fan of yours and, and on this whole great gratitude journey for some time, known you for many years. And it's such a great subject because Thank you. not many people talk about it or not enough people talk about it. And I'm grateful for any number of things. I've gotten better at it as, as I've listened to you too, because I realize that's such oh, a key great. to happiness. But as I look at my life, I'm, I'm gr so gr very grateful for the relationships, especially family. That mm -hmm. means so much. And that's been, that's been great. My health. Uh, a positive mental attitude. I know it just takes you so far and I'm appreciative that over the years I've been able to fold that into kind of my DNA if you will. So I'm grateful for a lot. I've got plenty of things that have gone aw awry as, as everybody does and um, being, being gra grateful or gratitude you know helps guide you through a lot of that challenge, a lot of those challenges. And it's interesting too, Leif talks about health, which is something that uh, I try not to coach people what the thing they should be the most grateful for, but usually that's up there. But family, and who in family in particular, Leif, that uh, when we think about the ones that are at the top of that list, who does that include? Well, I've got a, I've got a large family mm -hmm. of, of six brothers, and, and oh, wow. my, my, my folks are, are still healthy and alive, and then my nice. wife. And so there's an extended family there that means, means a lot to me and uh, I, I try not to take that for granted and realize that that's a big part of who I am. Cool, and so then one last thing and we'll wrap it up is you mentioned getting, and I appreciate it if it's my gratitude videos or anything, getting more gratitude in your life. What has kept you kind of on that track? Because that's something a lot of people tell me and they go, well, I'm grateful or I'm writing in the gratitude journal I kind of got off track. What's kind of helped you to keep track on that or keep on track? Well, yeah, I think the main reason is I've linked, I, I, I've realized there's enough study and enough research and you've kind of spearheaded a lot of this too and made it made me more aware of it. But, but hap your happiness, your personal happiness and your gratitude or gratefulness are linked. Mm -hmm. So I'm smart enough to know if I want to be happy, I need to ha have gratitude kind of running through my veins and I try and I'm not always there but I try to be mindful of it because if that's a link to my happiness geez what is that what does everybody want they want to be happy or happier and that's right. that's part of it that is very intuitive and I think one of my books is happiness starts with gratitude and and I do believe there's a link I don't know if I have met people that are truly happy which is I think a lot of people are seeking without also being truly grateful so well thank you Leif some great uh, great comments as usual stay tuned we'll have another special guest next week we really appreciate you tuning in to the Brooker that gratitude guy thanks so much and thanks Leif thank you David you bet